Hello everyone, uh, welcome to another Kerbal Space Program video, 10% hard science mode. Ugh, it's all, it's all, I get to tongue twisted when I do that. This video is going to be a little different because I'm a little short on time. So we're going to go ahead and sort of watch a build. Now presently I've got three Kerbonauts in orbit right now and everybody's saying go to the moon. So I think in the next Kerbal Space Program video that's what we're going to do. We're going to try to go to the moon. If it doesn't work out and somehow we miss it or somehow things go wrong then it'll just be another flyby. I won't try to attempt to land. However, something tells me that something tells me that if we do it just right I think I think we'll be okay. But anyway, now that we've unlocked things like the passenger module and some other stuff, I wanted to revisit the Orion, our passenger SSTO, our money maker when it comes to contracts for tourism. What this means is that in order for this thing to make more money than the original craft, it needs to be able to hold more people. Now at present I can only have two active contracts at any given time. So being able to hold at least four Kerbals if I was able to get two contracts with two uh, two passengers each. That'd be a lot of money in one shot. So I went to work on the Orion Mark 8. Before we get started, I'd like to give a special shout out to Mike. Check out his channel. He's been doing a lot of cool stuff, especially he's been doing a Kerbal Space Program hard mode stream lately. It's kind of cool to see how people do things differently when presented with the challenge of only so much science being able to collect for your game. And surprisingly, he's also doing a Project Zomboid video or stream. I always enjoy watching people playing the games that I also am interested in because you get to see how they do things. So yeah, check them out, give them a like, and if you love them, give them a sub. <laughs> not, the, not the sandwich, in case you were wondering. Now the idea behind this build is that I wanted to make it sort of like an SSTO rocket plane, but I know that it's not going to be. The reason being, of course, is that we don't have flaps or any way to control anything on those fins. So more than likely it's going to take several launches before we're able to get this thing just right so when it enters Kerbin's atmosphere it doesn't completely go out of control. This build took about two hours last night and I'm editing it now in the morning before I have to go to work. So hopefully my hope is during this build it'll give you guys some ideas in order to inspire you for your own builds in Kerbal Space Program. For those of you who really want to watch Project Zomboid, don't worry, I'm going to be working on that too. Again, this weekend's going to be a little quiet because I really have to study for my certification in order to keep my job. But anyway, please enjoy. I'll try to I'll try to make it quick, but not too fast that you miss anything. So here we go.
mods can be found in the description below. I have no idea if this thing works. I have none. We don't really have a pilot to test it, but it looks cool as fudge. Now, I already know that it probably won't work. It definitely needs testing in order to iron it out, but that will have to be in another video. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like, and if you loved what you saw, consider subscribing. But that's all the time I have for today. Love you all, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye.